not no, it's not very close. Yeah. It's it's just the closest one so far. Right. Um, so like we said, it opened a portal, that's, so that's, that's easy number. solution. Um, next one is make it like Spider-Man, where they've always existed. Right. So basically, if you don't know, uh, when Sony and Marvel did their partnership, instead of just making it where Spider-Man's never been on, so we have to see his origin all again. Which no one wants to see. Though. Yeah. All they did was, he's existed this whole time, he's just this small town kid in the suburbs, so barely anyone knows about him. He's now getting more popular, YouTube videos are coming out, etc. And but because, you know, he worked with the frickin' Avengers. Right. So, like, but just make it where they've existed. The Fantastic Four, they're just, no one knew about it. And they're being covered up by the, the government. government. Which is actually our next point. Again. Again. Because, like, the government likes to cover things up. Plus, when you have, now that we have Phase 3, uh, the Sokovia Accords, they would want to cover this up because right. that's another incident revealed to the public. Also, if I were the government, I wouldn't want to tell people, hey, we can open portals to another dimension, so if you don't like this one, uh, just make technology and you can travel to another dimension. Right, and again, they don't like the government. They're not a big fan of it, so they're not going to be coming out and being like, hi guys, we're here. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> we're going to help save the day because... No, they're not going to do that. They're trying to hide from the government. Right. Again, the whole point of the first movie. They just, they're trying to hide right. as much as they can. Our, what did Mr. Fantastic do as soon as he got out? He ran away because he's freaking smart. Yeah. Because they're trying to kill him and or put him in a cage right. forever. Like, that is our next point if you didn't realize. They don't like the government. <laughs> I mean... I, and I can't blame them either. There's someone, the government right now is wanting to use them for their abilities, using them as weapons. It's not like, hey, you can be a soldier in the army and use your abilities. It's, no, you're a weapon, I'll send you out when I want to. You have to stay in the cell until the worst scenario happens and then I'm sending you out. Once you do that, to the exact par, you're going back in. Yeah, and again, like, I'm uh, with the thing. There was a shot in the movie. He was sitting there, like a prisoner, in a dark room, with nothing but him, mm -hmm. and a bed. It's, it, he was literally in jail, just because he was a powerful being. Yeah. You're gonna feel a little bit betrayed as soon as you can get out of there, you're going to, and you're going to hide. Right. And then another thing is, they could exist in Phase 4 of the MCU. Which means, basically, it might be, even though this movie came out, it hasn't happened yet. That would be freaking dope. Like, imagine, like, Hulk and the Thing going at it. Like, yeah, like, movie Hulk and movie Thing. Because, like, the comic books, I mean, they're comic books. You, right. you can't really see all the awesome action and things like that in the movies. Oh, right. Like, why do you think the Hulkbuster was in Age of Ultron? Probably because they don't have the rights to the Fantastic Four yet. Otherwise, I'm sure one of the Fantastic Four members would have been in Age of Ultron. They would have like, thrown the... No, they would have thrown the thing in there yeah. instantly and been like, oh, the Hulk is here. He's causing problems. Guess what? The thing is in his, like, the, in the Baxter building right. in the woods near Sokovia, surprisingly. Then they come out because they say, see, big problems in Sokovia. Right. And then they run over there and he beats the stun out of the Hulk. Literally the only reason they haven't appeared in the MCU yet is because, because they don't own the rights. Yeah, right. Fox won't make a deal with them, which we really want them to <laughs> because right now Fox is only making Marvel movies so that they keep the characters. It's like, like haha, ha, Marvel. You can't make them, we can't come back. And, and the only Marvel movies that they've been making that have been successful in the last years are Deadpool and Wolverine. So that's just saying, hey, we're not going to make movies that most people who watch superhero movies are going to be able to see. So, come on guys. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you, before you start making Fantastic Four movies that are super dark and gritty and like me and like need to be rated R, before you make start making gory and sexy uh, Fantastic Four movies, just sell it to, to Marvel. They know what they're doing. Like, they're doing it right. You could even do what Sony did. Make a partnership. That way you're still, it could still come out saying Fox, a Fox and, movie. And you could still make money off of the yeah. film. Just put it in the directors that run that company's hands. Because, let's face the fact, you're stupid when it comes to making movies, okay? <laughs> Or, the final one, which we didn't have list here, is put a little Easter egg in that reveals 
okay, they've been connected. Like maybe the Watchers show up in the movie, and it's the same design of the Watchers right. that appeared in Guardians too. Well, that would probably be a bit on the nose. Right, but like then you see, oh, so this Fantastic Four movie does Macy, connect. Kitchen. Then even though it's technically Macy. not official, people are going to Macy. see another Fantastic Four movie. Redo that entire sentence. Yeah, redo the sentence. So basically, what you do is then you can do a whole Fantastic Four movie because of the Watchers appearing. People are going to see another movie because they'll be like, it connects to the MCU. Mm -hmm. Fox gets the money. The fans get what they want. Boom. Again, just throw some Easter eggs in there that make they get the br the brains. Also, just make the movie good. Uh, but don't pull your little like little children stunt with like Johnny Storm and 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 children like because that's it's a bad idea. Also, why not take the opportunity to have the thing in it? Because like in my opinion, he was my favorite part of the first mo of this movie. It was amazing. Okay, anyway. So, those are our reasons why, or how they could connect the Fantastic Four reboot to either their X-Men universe or the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, if you come back to our channel for our next video, it is going to be us reviewing Mountain Dew Lemonade. That has nothing to do with this, but we're doing it. Well, yeah, but, yeah. Hashtag, Hashtag Dev did it first and have a really, really random day. day.